this is my toilet. This is my toilet and it's boring. As you can see, the toilet is boring and the wall next to it is boring and everything about this general area is kind of boring. That's neither here nor there. Today, I would like to rectify this really boring toilet situation. My husband is having surgery on Monday. Over the course of his recovery, I would like to paint a mural and make my toilet look less boring like guys i'm i'm gonna get real with you i'm bored when i'm on my toilet i need something to look at maybe sometimes i need something to do you know what what better place to paint a mural than when you're on the toiletto geppetto before we get too far into the video, I just wanted to show you a couple of the before shots from when we first moved into this place. We have already added a window in here, but that's about it. It's just sort of a cluttered 80s bathroom that hasn't been updated in over 20 years. Even though I knew that I was going to be doing this video, I failed to get a decent before shot of the wall where I'm going to be painting the mural, but you kind of get the gist of it. The way that we've been living in here isn't very fun. It's really cluttered and I don't have a space for anything. So I'm also going to be building some storage in this video, but I don't actually know that yet. I think that I'm just going to be making a mural. Okay, so here is the game plan. So I think I'm gonna start off with a white wall here. Everything this side <laughs> over, just forget about it. That's not, that's later. That's too much work for what I'm doing right now. Funny little story. You remember how I told you that the bathtub and the other side of the bathroom, I was gonna do that later. Like we were gonna save that for another time. Apparently not. I started doing it um, on a whim. So looks like we're doing a whole bathroom mural now. Got the windowsills all finished and ready. I'm gonna remove all of these handles here and then I'm going to paint this basin. We will get some new hardware for this. Yesterday I went out and I picked these instead. So it doesn't fit the holes on either side there. Bummer, whichever way you put it. Even it out and then we'll just drill new holes into this. Sounds good to me. These look like a relic from the Titanic. So a little bit of perfect timing. I ordered these drawers off of Amazon and I'm gonna see if they will fit. So I'm gonna build some of these. Then we will pull everything out, get everything clean. I might even paint on the inside or put something on the inside to keep it clean. Now earlier I'd mentioned that the drawer handles were not going to fit, so I put a little bit of spackle in the holes before cleaning it up with a damp paper towel. Before I started painting anything, I made sure that I taped all around the edges before going in and outside of this cabinet. It does look like I did this all in one fell swoop, but I would just like to remind you guys that this was actually probably a couple of weeks of me putzing around on and off while things dried. I also know that some people might wonder why I went to the extra effort to paint the inside of the cabinets. I find that if I can add a little bit of whimsy anywhere, I am going to do that just so that I can make myself smile on one of my cloudier days. Frick! I got paint in here. Ugh, I got different sizes. It's supposed to be the same thing, but this one fits, this one doesn't. I don't want to go back to the hardware store. <laughs> like the universal song of anybody that's renovating a house. You can't make me go back to the hardware store. Okay friends, so last night I did get this on, finally. I do have a little bit of paint that I need to touch up on the rest of the cabinets. So I don't actually have to take a trip back to the hardware store. <laughs> For whatever reason, I accidentally pranked myself and bought one extra that was the wrong size. And that was the one that I opened last night. All of the right sizes here. So I think this morning we are just going to put these in. I'm gonna touch up the paint along the edges. And then I'm also going to put the door handles on today. And now for a compilation of me not knowing how to use power tools. Now that that disaster is over, it's time for me to fill these cabinets. I got these cute little styrofoam strawberry mats so that it'll keep all the creepy crawlies out and to cover up some of the imperfections on the inside of the cabinets. I got this creepy and cute wallpaper to pop on the insides. So the cabinets are officially finished. I put these little finishing touches on the inside. We've got some really nice wallpaper here. We've got these little felt pads. 
If you are ever painting a cabinet with house paint like this instead of with the furniture paint, I recommend using these little felt pads here just because when you close the cabinet, then it won't scuff, it won't pull the paint off because this pink will be sticky here, the lighter pink, and then the darker pink would have been sticky too. I'm going to buy this wallpaper. It's beautiful. It's everything I could have ever dreamed. It's got everything that is good. It's got roses, it's got lace, it's got pink. Brilliant. I'm gonna buy a butt ton of it. Now for those of you that are wondering where I got this, I bought it from Spoonflower. I paid my own money for it. It is not a sponsorship or anything like that, but I do actually recommend their wallpaper. It's really good for beginners, which I most certainly am. And by this point in the project as well, my husband was feeling better and he actually ended up starting to help me with some of the painting so that this project would move a little bit quicker for me. It still took a long time, but I was grateful to have him on board. Now one of the reasons that I like Spoonflower's paper so much is that you can kind of puzzle piece things together, so if I ran out out in one spot, I would just cut it and it would blend in kind of seamlessly like this. You can't tell that it's there once it's pressed down and flattened in. And if you're accident prone like me, you need all the help you can get. Now let's jump forward in time a little bit. Okay, so we got all the painting done, or namely my husband got all of the painting done, and I've gotten most of the wallpaper finished as well. My husband is going to be building some cabinets today and putting those up while I am working on some other stuff. The wallpaper is mostly all finished now. I just have this little corner to puzzle piece together. I'm very excited to get the cabinets up here and to get one up here so that we can have some organization in the space. Hi! Now, as well as the wallpaper, there were a couple of other side projects that I wanted to get done before I started the mural, just because I thought that it would make things look nice. So I did make these fun little strawberry curtains. Now, technically this mirror is actually me starting on the mural because it is the centerpiece for the mural. I actually did a whole other video with me building this because it took such a long time for me to do it. So if you'd like to see that, check out the link in my description. Otherwise, here's kind of like a shortened version. Now at this point, we were about six months into the project and since my husband's surgery. And as you can see, he's feeling much better. <laughs> what you doing? I'm about to hammer time. You really nailed it. Screw that. The manager is here to inspect and ensure that we install these properly. Oh, do they meet your approval? Excellent. They have been christened by his butt. Like a ship with its inaugural flight needing a bottle of champagne. So must everything we build be christened by your butt. I didn't want to mess around with the camera while we were putting these things up, so let's jump forward in time. I cannot remember when last we spoke, but this is the state of the bathroom right now. And we got the rest of the cabinets hung over here. It's looking pretty good in here. I think uh, we just have a couple little things to finish up. There's a few spots that I need to fix on the wallpaper. For two weeks I have put this off and the only things I need is this and this. <laughs> Somewhere in here are the final two puzzle pieces and I must find them. This edge just fits. This is a very satisfying moment. It is so nice to finally be able to take all these little pieces off of the wall and the door. So satisfying! Okay, the wallpaper is done. It looks pretty awesome. We don't use this shower because this shower makes me feel like I'm standing inside of a coffin, which normally would be a good thing for me, but in this instance, not so much. So <laughs> we're gonna put a beaded curtain in front of it. I think maybe one day if I'm made of money, I will retile it but for right now, it's fine. It is what it is. And then we also got the towel rack in, so I'm gonna be hanging the towel rack right there today. Exciting though, it's gonna have three prongs. I can hang three towels and you can swivel it. There's utility. This is my utility towel rack and I don't wanna be shamed for loving it. They look like the silver millennium crystal from Sailor Moon. Honestly, I bought this rack because it reminds me of this, which I also purchased because it looks like the silver millennium crystal. Nice. And I think it's actually time for me to start the part of the video that I intended this video to be about, which was the toilet mural. And so without any further ado, I hung the mirror on the wall and I started tracing around its edges just so that I'd be able to pull the mirror off because I didn't want to risk bumping it and dropping it on the ground while I was working. Just so everybody doesn't start freaking out and thinking that I'm painting green slime on the wall, I'm going for sort of like a mossy bunny fairy theme. It's time to be bold, and that also means I'm scared. Because we're going to have to try and paint a straight line. Uh, I don't know if I managed to get a good shot of me painting all of this, which is a real cry and shame, because I felt real brave while I did it. Okay, when I posted the pink mirror, I actually asked you guys 
hey, is there any other projects you think I should do in my bathroom? And one of you said, a mural to keep you company on the toilet. And I was stunned. Woman was too stunned to speak. The first few days of this project, I was like, you know what, if I just stay steady, I can bang this out. But I very quickly realized that this was kind of on a scale that I had never tried to achieve before. I've definitely done paintings on canvas, but it was a lot harder than what I thought it was going to be doing something so big and so detailed. <sighs> I was used to working on little canvases and this was little canvases times about a hundred and also having to bend myself backwards next to a toilet, which was a kind of a weird thing to be doing. I think that this rabbit here might be my favorite just because he's doing this cute little thing where it looks like he's tucking himself to bed in the flower. Could you imagine how soft that would be to fall asleep inside of a little uh, flower? It'd be so soft and cozy and silky. Some of you might be wondering why I went with this rabbit theme. When I was a little girl, we had tons of pet rabbits and they just light up my inner child in a way that I can't really explain. So I figured that because this bathroom is a place that's supposed to make me happy and make me feel safe, that rabbits were kind of the perfect so one of the things that I love painting more than anything else when I'm doing flowers is foxgloves and I just came up with this really fun idea to do the openings as hearts and it is bringing me so much joy. I think you guys can probably see me doing this in a lot of my paintings from now on. The cool thing is too, foxgloves are hella poisonous and one of the ways that they poison you is by giving you a cardiac arrest. So you know, it's cute but deadly just like me. I just thought of what I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna call them fox loves. Fox love, fox love, it's too perfect. Not only did I not anticipate that this wouldn't take me a couple of days, it took me a couple of months. And I actually found that while I was painting this piece, that it was more of a practice in self-care and self-love because even on days that I didn't want to show up and do it, I would do it for an hour and would always leave feeling a little sense of accomplishment. This is officially the biggest painting that I have ever done and the painting that has taken me the longest. And usually the art that I am making is for someone else because I want to make other people feel safe or make them feel happy or make them feel comforted. But there's a lot of times where I don't necessarily give that to myself. And this painting was a perfect practice in only doing and creating something that was for me, that made me feel peaceful, that made me feel happy. And for once, it was really nice to do something for myself. And I've been able to create and make even more things for other people. So I think it was a really healthy reminder for me that sometimes when we take better care of ourselves, we're able to take better care of others. Now, one of the reasons that this mural took me so long is because I kept adding more and more and more than I had initially anticipated. That's not something I do, right? But this little shelf mural was an extra treat. <laughs> that looks so cool. Come here. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fun. <laughs> Some of you might be thinking like, hey, those foreheads are a little bit big. Actually, look at babies. Their foreheads are huge. Like the bigger the forehead, the cuter the baby. And the smaller the forehead, the more it looks like those weird medieval paintings. So whenever you are painting a baby something, you actually want to give it like not just a forehead or a five head. You want like a six head or a seven head or an eight head because baby's got a lot of room to grow. So there was a moment pretty close to the end of me finishing the mural where I thought that I was done and it turned out that I wasn't and I thought you guys would enjoy watching me prank myself. I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god. I don't know if this is the laughter of a mad woman or not, but <laughs> um, I'm just gonna get my husband to help me hang the mirror back on here because I'm really scared I'm gonna drop it. Yes! This area right here feels super weirdly empty and so does right here. It's bothering me so much. I might have to do something about it. <sighs> no. So 
What I'm going to be doing is I am going to be adding a little bit here, I am going to be adding a little bit here, and I'm going to be adding a little bit up top out of screen right now. I thought it would be really cute if I added like a little fairy bunny in there somewhere. A funny. <laughs> now that I have replenished my cup, let's go finish it for real this time. <laughs> I thought it would be cool before we finished up this video for you guys to see me working on it from start to finish. And I was actually shocked at how many separate days I recorded. There were a couple that I missed, but it really did take me a long time to finish this. And I'm so glad that I put that extra effort into a project that is just for me to enjoy and maybe you guys to enjoy now that you're watching this. Now normally this would be where I would say it's time for the moody glamour shots, but today we've got something different. We've got a before and after. Well, I just gotta say that was one heck of a journey. Thank you for spending almost a year with me on the world's pinkest and cutest mural. There was a couple of extra things that I added off camera that I thought I'd point out to you guys, like finishing up this little nook and adding some trim, as well as these sweet little cherubs and painting some stuff gold. I'm really going to miss this project, but I'm excited to see where we'll go next, and I know I'm going to bring you all with me. Uh, 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 I did it. Oh. Oh. Here's the uh, girl. Do that. <laughs> I literally cannot believe that we are finished. And also, I can't believe that I'm slightly nostalgic about the fact that I'm going to be talking to you guys next to my toilet for the last time. Sidebar, even though I am happily celebrating that this project is finished, my friend came over and she pointed at it and she was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, amazing. You ever think about doing the other wall? She had the absolute best intentions, but I realized in that moment, I have to do the other wall. This took me 10 months in my spare time. 10 months. <laughs> Maybe someday, in a couple years, I'll do a follow up to this. I'm gonna have to replace my bathtub at some point. It's kind of janky and from the 80s. So I'll wait until we replace the bathtub before I paint a mural right next. And uh, eventually, get back to me in like a decade. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey today. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel or hitting a couple of those other buttons so that the robots know that you as a human enjoyed what you saw and we'll show it to other human beings. <laughs> or robots. There might be other robots that are into this. And if you'd like to support my channel in other ways, we've also got a really cool online shop where I sell stickers, prints, plushies, and all sorts of other good stuff. And by supporting me there, you help me to continue make weird and wonderful projects like this. Remember that progress doesn't happen overnight. It can take a really long time. <laughs> and that throughout the process, you just need to be patient and kind with yourself. Take care, okay? I love you, bye!